my old lady. Mama, see this guy, they surprised me. You know, go believe your audio was you are the feed and bill and send our time they drink. I did tell you, really matter. You did the shine. Mama. Okay, I know you are. I cannot give her food. I cannot give her a drink for three days. No, Allah. Confirm, confirm. Mugu. Mugu! See, no one die. You did joke. You did joke. That die when you find some room, Monsieur. Not before you go to escape her. How you want to survive and pass Jesus like a cocoa farmer? And you come back. You must die. No guy wants to go around. These few days that I have known you have been so blissful. So blissful and unique. I have made money. So much money. But happiness seemed to elude me. Having you in my life, it's like having the strength of a thousand men. Hmm. I think I will say same. Because I was lost in pain and penury. <laughs> you know, I just felt nature would send me into extension. Little did I know that. He has a huge plan for me. And that is you. Oh. Thank you. Thank you for coming into my life and making it beautiful in this lost world. Thank you. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for being there for me. Thank you for the love you give. Thank you for everything you have done for me. You're simply the best. Cheers. <laughs> To a new fan love. <laughs> Cheers. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> so do you like it? Yeah, very good cool. Honestly. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> If you need more, let me know. So nice. So we <laughs> taught you how to cook. I'm a new woman. What are you saying? Hmm? Mm. <laughs> Why won't I know how to cook? <laughs> Top of women know how to cook. Really? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It might be right, but... No, of course I know how to cook. Exceptional. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm. Come on. Mm. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. I can't remember when last someone fed me this way. I'm not trying to spoil you, so stop. You're spoiling me already. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
the cam. Shioma is our daughter. What is happening to her right now requires we get up and come to her aid. Yes. If it is land, let us serve to assist her. Hmm? This is somebody who has been in the city for years. And here we are. Suddenly she's here with us in the village. After they have sold off so much of their properties to make ends meet. If we cannot help her now, when then we will help her? Mbakwe. Mbakwe. Are you even listening to yourself? No, did you hear exactly what you vomited from this hole you call them on? Choma, what happened to your mother? No, where is she? Your mother is a philanthropist. She builds houses for people here and there. She will pay salaries to the poor and needy, widows and widowers. So what are you doing? No, does a cob bear for meat? Honestly, I don't understand any of this at all. I don't. Ojiafo, hmm? none of us here needs to be reminded that Shioma is not the good terms with her mother. Then let her go and settle with her mother. Shioma, go and settle with your mother and she, I assure you, will take care of all these things. Including, in fact, she will even fly your husband and your child to overseas for medical treatment. Taking care of all the bills. What are you talking about? Look at you. Hi. A daughter of such a worthy woman. Embarrassing yourself. Begging. Begging for house rent and medical bills for your child and your husband. Your husband. Your husband that should be taking care of you. You are begging to take care of him. Ah. But wait a second. Are you been telling me that you and your husband were living in a rented apartment? Hey, Mbarono. Please, don't say that so that people will not hear it. Inugo, don't say it. Ah! No one is going to do that for you. Go and sit with your mother. All these things will be taken care of. <clears throat> that's all. That's all I have to say about this. Um, I don't want to This is uh, so heavy. But I'll say it. Uh, Choma, we are all aware that you are having issues with your mother. But not as regards to health issues. Oh. See, according to you, your son is very sick. The landlord pushed you out of the house because your house rent is overdue. Your husband is struggling with his health. Your mother can take care of all these bills and more. Even your, your brother. The only thing we sitting here can do is assist with advice. Nothing else. Ojuku. Ojuku. Ojiofa. We should know that Without a credible reason, Shema will not be here in the village living with us. Don't forget that. So we should be of assistance to her. She's our daughter. Nai. I think I support Nai Ojofo. Yes. She has to go and reconcile with her mother. Okay. Why are we even hiding the truth from her? Though they said truth is bitter. But it must be told. I think it is time you go back to your father's house. Hey. Hey, when you go back to your father's house and have a taste of hunger, you will know 
what it means to be in a difficult situation. Because you are here eating every day. You are robust like a frog that is just from the water. You are talking rubbish. If we help her, what is wrong about that? Mbaku. Huh? Yes. Mbaku. Uh -huh. Don't you have to rope? To do what? No, don't you have to you rope and to van? No, tow her to her father's house. Tow her because you are the only one she's married to. Right? No, you are the only three in this family. Nonsense. You can't. Listen, he can't touch you. And let me warn you. If you are talking about this lady and her family, please. Just know one thing for sure. We are not going to help her. And let me just say, I, Ojofo, will not help her. And I will not do anything for her. Let her go and sit with her mother and all these problems will be solved. I tell you one truth today. Uh, go ahead. It is the load of wickedness you carry your head that makes you short like this. Imagine you, eh? your, your late brother's daughter, you are vomiting this from your mouth. So if you cannot help her, who else will help her? I am going to use 10% of that wickedness so you are reduced to a tortoise. And I'll do that now you if you don't shut up. Tell her the truth. Let her go and say to her mother. Otherwise, I will use my wickedness to reduce you to an ant. One. This feeling is so natural. So true. I beg you to stay. I'm scared because I wouldn't want to. Shh. Let... Nothing will happen to you. Maybe I am here to stay. My love is unstoppable. Even you are irreplaceable. Thank you. I promise to love you till the end of time. Appears that both of you are toiling with your lives. Do you want to die? Do you want the great God family to lose personalities like you? What is happening? What is going on? Grandmaster, we are at loss. We've never seen you this angle. See the calamity that is about to befall both of you. Adora, both of you will die if they continue to meet like this. You must stop them. You must stop them. That is if you want to leave. Enough! Enough of this, mom. What is the meaning of this? Huh? What is the meaning? Mom, I've had it up to this place. Mom, you are choking me up. This is Chifoke's daughter we are talking about. I love her so much. Mom, I am madly in love with her and nothing, nothing can be done about it. And not even you can do anything about it. Shut him out. Now you listen. I will be the one to tell you whom to love, when to love a girl, and who you will get married to. No, no, Mom. Never! Mom, never! For how long? I am man enough to take charge of my life. Do you want me to continue to build under your spell? You want to keep calling the shot over my life? What for, Mom? No. This can't keep happening. Listen, Mom. I swear, if you push any further, I swear, you will answer to the police where you kept Sonia. I mean every word that I just said. You think I don't know? Huh? 
Enough is enough. <laughs> Hello. We need to see. It's very urgent. You already know what it is. My son is going crazy. Come. If you want money, she get up. If you want connections, she get up. If you want money and faith, she get up. But I, I do not get it. Seriously, I don't understand it. You just want me to just go to London and stay? Uh, yes, I, Why? I, I, Why? I, I want the best for you. Okay? I want what's best for you, sweetheart. I don't told you that I don't have the best. But I have the best here. But what is this? Why are you doing this? I thought you want me happy. You've always prayed for this thing. So why, why, why? Listen, I, I want you happy, but you, you never told me who it was then. You never told me. <sighs> Father, is Darlington new to you? No, is Darlington new to you? Besides, you are friends with the mother. She's my godmother. We're well, exactly my point. Oh, we are family. Friends, exactly, so my point. That's my point too. So does that does that mean that you you should go out on a date with him? You're supposed to be happy for me, not the other way around. I, I, what? Good afternoon, sir. Yeah, yes, yes, Valentine. Good afternoon. Um, Dad, we are going to see a movie. I'll be back shortly. Okay. Okay. Yes, our lady. I don't think I can wait till evening anymore. Let's see now. I'll be on my way right now. Mad. The son of Mbaku, has your madness returned? That the lion is the king of the jungle does not make the lion the biggest animal in the forest. Okay, he, I told you I was going to return for you. And today I am back and prepared to bring you down. Today I shall send you to the place of my father so you can continue your devilish meeting with him. Don't waste my bullet on this. You the crazy? You the mad? Who you be? Your father no rich. Killer. The son of Mbaku. Ah. I will forgive you today for taking out one of my boys. But remember, a child who lifts up his father must be ready for all that his eyes meet under there. Go home now. Go home because you may not be this lucky next time. Da! There won't be another time. The almighty devilish. Okay, he. You have killed so many. Living for one more day will spell doom for others. Today, I shall bring you down. Son of Umbalkwe. Go home now. I'm not in a good mood today. Oh. 
go home. I am telling you. The baby of oh. a snake, a baby snake. Oh. How dare you? Oh. How dare you confront me? Oh. You will rot in hell with your father. I ah. warn you. Meet your father there in hell. Seen them. Madam, you are a strong woman. If not, your son would have been long gone. Even your husband, your chi is very much alive. Because the calamity that would have befallen you would have been too great to handle. What is happening to your son is not something the hospital can handle. It is something that needs to be handled locally. So please, how, how do we handle it? How do we do it? Well, I will need a sum of 50,000 Naira so that I can purchase the materials I need for the ritual. I will take the boy to Ngeni River where I will bathe him and plead with the woman that put the stone inside his belly so as to teach him a lesson to please free him. Not my son. You are not taking my son anywhere. Uncle, I have told you. I have told you. I've, I, I said this thing. I don't need this help. I will never, ever in my life, as long as I'm alive, compromise my faith in God. As long as God is still on the throne and he's not dead, I will never do any fetish, whatever he's talking about. Neither will I, will I go and beg any demonic person. I'm not begging anybody. I'm putting my hope in God and only God. Hmm. Well, it's your choice. But let me tell you this. Prepare two caskets. One for your husband and the other for your son because it will be happening very, very soon. Is it, Dibia? Let me tell you the God that I serve. In case you don't know about him, he is the God that decides a thing and nobody, not even you or anything you serve, can, can, can do otherwise. So if it is the will of God that my family will remain like this, then let it be. Ha, Promia. Amen, anything. As a matter of fact, you've over, overstayed your welcome. Get out of my house. Sure, ma, we're talking about life and death here. It is said that heaven helps those who help themselves. Hey, Shioma. Don't worry, my God is helping me. My God is still alive. He's still on the throne. He has not died. Even if he descends from his throne and come down on earth, I will still serve him. I will not give up. If he says he wants to take my family, if he says he wants to make me a childless woman and a widow at this age, then let it be. It is the will of the Almighty God. I am a Kenyana. Okay, get out of my house, Biko. It's all right. Get yeah. out of my house. Get out of my house. You be in here. If it's contaminating my house. This is a, this is the temple of the Holy Spirit. I will take my leave now. This is it. Get Sorry. out. It is you and that your chief that will be buried in two caskets. Chief Okehi, I don't want to kill your daughter. And I don't want to regret ever 
introducing you to the great cat fraternity. How can you even say that to me? You want me to die? I don't want to kill your son either. I, I don't want anything like that to happen to us. What do we do? Well, uh, <clears throat> I, I, I tend to fly my, do my daughter out of the country. You're not serious, are you? Have you forgotten the rule? She must be with you. You are bored forever. Oh, yes, yes, I understand that. I will stay with her right there in London. Seriously? Uh, yes. So, in terms of emergency meeting, how do you cope? Think, okay? Think. What, what, what do you want me to do? Huh? What will I do? She's already in love with your son. And... I can't kill your son. And you cannot kill, you know, I cannot kill my daughter. It, these are blood. It's like me killing my wife or, or you killing your husband. That's paramount to our death. So what, what do we do? We have to torment them. We will torment them. We will do everything within our power to make sure they stop seeing each other. I wish she's not your daughter. I would have killed her. Oh. She is my goddaughter. We are in the same shoes here, you know. It pains me, it pains me immensely that uh, Darlington is your son. <laughs> Otherwise, on that wedding day, he wouldn't make it to the church. Now, I don't know what to do. How come we didn't say this? Beats me. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know that those children were seeing each other secretly. Oh. <sighs> Baby, I'm sorry for everything. I'm truly sorry. I. I embarrassed you, I humiliated you. I I broke your heart. I didn't know what came over me. I'm sorry. You impregnated a white lady. You even have a son. You never bothered to tell me. And when I found out, you started assaulting me. 
What happened to everything uh, we shared? What uh, happened to your promises? Uh, Going to leave me here to go another man. You are carrying my baby. I've done the worst to you. I don't deserve anything. How can I get married in, in such condition? Look at me! Look at me! I needed to get myself back! I needed me back! I was depressed! Then I have to leave! because I needed to get myself and my father was ill and he needed to see me. Uh. You kept sending talks to look for me. Oh. But, uh. <sighs> Debs. Please don't on. say that again, please. Nothing is going please. to happen to you. I'm right here please. with you. Okay. Salvador, just calm down. Jamie, take care of my baby. Come on, stop saying that. What are you saying? Please, please, I've forgiven you. I've forgiven you. I've forgiven you. I've forgiven you. See your baby now. See. Touch your baby. In fact. You're my, my son in the US. Connect them. Salvador, please now. See your baby. See, see your baby. See your baby. No. Salvador, no. Sir. Please don't do that. Sir. No, 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 please don't do that. Please, I'm forgiving you. Sir. Please get up. Get up, please. Sir. I'm Sir. forgiving you. No, 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 no. Salvador, help me, help me, help me. No, 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 no. Get up now. Sir. I told you I'm forgiving you. I'm forgiving. Help me now! Salvador! Get up now! What's the meaning of this now? Forgive me you now! Salvador, what? <laughs> Please now! Don't come to your head! What are you doing down now? Get up! Stop! Uh, hello? Uh, you understand what I'm saying? <clears throat> Listen. He's trying everything he can to help her. And that's the truth. Uh, but she doesn't want to come to you. Choma! Hey! She does not want to come back to you. She says over her dead body, she will never come back to you. That is the issue. Huh? Uh, but you have to try to help her. Please. Hey, you don't even know what is happening. Her husband is dying. His legs are rotten. That's the truth. The child, your grandchild, hey, if you see him, you cry, you weep, you shed tears. That's the truth. Eh? I'm telling you, his stomach is getting bigger and bigger and bigger every time. That's what I'm saying. Eh? Please, I'm begging you. Come and help her. Please, forget her tantrums. I know. I understand. Just forget her tantrums. 
listen, iron lady, iron lady, I know how you feel. But please, it's okay, eh? Come back and help. She will die in pain, so. She will die of the pains. She's having so. Listen, they can hardly feed. They, yes! They can hardly feed. There's no money. But wait, how long are they going to keep going about begging for food? Yeah, it doesn't make sense. Hmm? Please, come back and help them. Uh, listen, you know, yeah, you know why I'm so concerned about this? If anything happens to them now, hey, you know our people, the way they behave. Yes. No, they begin to talk. Hey, I only have yes, used them for money ritual. And that is it. That is true. That, that's what they will say. So to avoid all this, please, hmm, come back and help them. Yeah? Uh, okay, uh, you are coming back, eh? Oh, that is good. <laughs> that is very good, eh? Uh, when are you coming back? Oh, that is good. Ah, I'm good to hear that, eh? This when you come, see what you can do. Just forget about the past, eh? See what you can do for her. Uh, so, uh, how about the money you, you promised? Uh, to, uh, hello? Hello? Uh, what about the money that will come into my bag? I just, just got. Uh, this. Anyway, let me, let me go and have some pan wine first. Uh, Shioma is too stubborn. What kind of a woman is she? Eh? Money she doesn't have. Yet, she will not allow somebody to help her. Eh? This is my third time going there. And she refused. She keeps insisting on her God. What is diabolical in this? Eh? Let, let, her, let that her son not die you. I'm saying my own now. the sound of a cat. Why am I continuously hearing the sound of cat? No. No. Do not happen. What I don't know will not know me. What I don't see will not see me. Nothing will get at me.
Yes. Hello. Ah, hey. Good afternoon, sir. How are you? Longest time. Ah, I did. I want to see my sister. Your sister and her family no longer stay here. For how long? She'll be up to one month now. She's up to one month, yeah. Where did they move to? I can't really tell. I, I don't know. I don't know. Ah. Oh. Why don't you call your sister? Yeah. Switched off. Try the husband. Okay. Switched off as well. What happened? This is a very long story. We were just here one day. The landlord came ranting, shouting at the top of his voice, saying that the rent is overdue. Before you could say Jack, we were sent out of the house. So, and before then, Oga David had a terrible accident. Really? What? Yes. A very terrible accident. So he was in the hospital for almost one week. Yes. So, Jesus. coming back from the hospital and it's indeed a, it's a very sad story. So, and the doctor couldn't even trace the ailment. Nothing was treated at the end of the day. So, it's, it's, it's bad. That means you have not been in contact with how this fellow. No, just some. Uh, don't worry. I have to burn away now. Thank All you. Right. Thank you. Thank All you. Right. Thank right. you so much. Okay. Take care. You don't even want to learn the hard way. You've chosen to die before you learn. Tell me, what did I do to you? Hmm? What? Why are you bent on punishing me by not letting me treat my grandson? Have you not prayed enough? Where is your pastor? Tell me, where is he? Chama Juliet Okonkwa. In all honesty, you need counseling. Serious counseling. For the Lord my God will fight my battle. And I will hold my peace. And I will not let you punish my grandson or kill him because of your prayers and your stupid peace. I will not. Kasarachi Angela Okonkwo. That's my name. Mother. Mm -hmm. Why are you here? Are you here to find out if your plans if your evil hands are dealing with my family the way you wanted it to. Did you come to check if the arrows you have sent to my family hit the target? Let me tell you something about my God. The I am that I am. 
the God of heaven and earth. The one whom all powers on earth, above the earth, underneath the earth, in the water, wherever be it, belongs to. Even the power you are misusing. Mother, you are playing around. You are wasting your time. Are you not tired? Are you not tired of swimming in this ocean of sin? Mother, are you not tired? Is it not high time you gave your soul to God? Is it not high time you started worshipping this man who has given you life? I don't know if anyone has told you this. But mother, you stink. The moment you stepped your feet into my house, the atmosphere changed. Mother, you stink of demonic aura. You stink of demonic contamination. And it is high time you give this... Are you mad? Disrespect. 